Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a how to video, how to use List Perfectly. Um, I currently do not use the catalog, so I'm going to show you how I list perfectly, how I cross post my items, how I stay organized. Um, with the catalog, it helps you keep track of where your items are on different platforms. I highly recommend the catalog. I personally just have not started using it. I may use it in the future. I may not. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I list perfectly. I'm going to start an item on eBay and I'm going to cross post it to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, there's different little tricks and tips that I do to help me be able to find my items and to tell me where the items need removed from. So really easy tricks and tips. But if you've never done it, you just might not know. Um, if you're new to the channel, Thanks for being here. My videos are typically about BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I kind of teach and help others learn as I learn. So definitely check out my other BOLO videos. Tons of great information. And I say that because I started this channel to learn and I am now a BOLO finder. And that means be on the lookout. So I am now buying light items low and selling them high. Um, just a little about me, I used to sell only clothing and I have branched out to hard goods, toys, all that fun stuff. And I love my job like so much more now. So definitely check out those other videos. Even if you're a selling, a reseller that only sells clothing, check it out. Okay, let's get started. This is a List Perfectly video, which I'm kind of off on a little tangent. My name is Courtney. I don't ever say that. And my YouTube channel is Bolo Buddies. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And let me get my screen share up. And I'm just going to kind of show you. And the reason I'm doing this is um, it's getting kind of late. And I was kind of batch recording, doing some other Bolo videos. And I was like, you know what? Mercari's having that deal. And I don't know if it goes out to everyone at the same time. But um, it's list 20 items and they give you a $20 coupon. And I think it's like, there's different tiers, but $20, 20 items is the best. And I'm like, I can do that. I can do that quickly um, and easily. So I listed some items to eBay today. And then I had some from last week that I listed that I haven't gotten over. And then there's items that I've had listed for a very long time that um, I can also pull from also. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, before I go any further, let me make sure it's screen sharing. Yes, um, if you want to try List Perfectly after watching this video, you can use referral code Bolo Buddies, one word. That will get you 30% uh, off your first month. So um, definitely keep that in mind. And I'll have the coupon code and um, a link to another video if you want to check it out down below. I'm going to also talk to you about which plan I use and why I use it. So. Um, this is my uh, seller page on um, eBay. So you can see this is the custom label and I have all these little notes, okay? So I can see here MC and PM. That means this is already listed on Mercari and Poshmark and this is eBay. So I know I've got it on all the platforms. I like to start my items on eBay. So Pretty much if it's on Mercari and Poshmark, I know it's on eBay. So I always um, remove it from eBay if it sells on Mercari and Poshmark, and then it tells me where it's at. So that is my biggest tip about staying organized. I also put in the custom SKU where my item is. Like this is in tote 14, okay? So, um, and I do different things. Uh, I put different notes there, things that I understand and maybe somebody else won't, but... Um, Let's look here at, um, I'm trying to find one that doesn't say PMMC. All right, scrolling, sorry, sorry, I should have. Okay, so this is one I listed today. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to hit this little edit button and I am going to put PMMC and I am gonna hit submit. And I am going to be bulk editing, or I'm not, sorry, not bulk editing. I'm going to be bulk cross posting. And I use the $49 plan, which allows me to bulk cross post. You cannot bulk cross post um, if you have the simple plan. 
I think it's simple business and pro. I have the business plan, which is $49 a month. So um, I'm going to click here and that is going to allow me to highlight the items. So typically what I do is I hit that first, which I didn't. And then I'm going to go at, down and I'm going to look for ones that do not say PM and MC. And this is going to take me a minute, guys. So I'm actually doing this. I'm actually going to list these items and just show you how I do it. Like I sit and I usually listen to YouTube or I watch TV while I do it. And here's another one that doesn't have anything. So I'm going to put PM, MC. So you're going to get to see real time how long it takes. Sometimes I do up to 30 at a time. I'm trying to keep track here so I know. Um, uh, how many did I do? One, two, three, four. We'll do this one. And I may not do all of these with you guys on here, but I'm going to at least get them loaded so you guys can see, you know, how long it takes. Um, so this is seven. And this is just how I choose to do it. You can do them um, one by one as you list things on the platform and cross it. You can start on Mercari and go to Poshmark and eBay. I do that also. But um, I mean, I have a video on that. I don't typically do it, but from time to time I will. But I do have a video showing it for anybody that wants to check that out. And then I have a video that shows um, Poshmark to eBay and Mercari and then Mercari to um, eBay and uh, gosh, I cannot multitask. I can't talk and do this. Let's see, how many is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more. We'll do 10 here. Let me see. Okay, we'll do this one. There was actually, um, you know, I'm just going to load 20 just to give you guys an idea. And typically when the items are loading, I that's when I send offers to buyers like this one. I've never put on Mercari and Poshmark and it's um, a higher dollar item. So I'm, I just missed it. You know, it's kind of hard to, to keep track sometimes of, you know, and that's why it's also good sometimes to just list it. And if you list it into the catalog, your items are all there and then you can cross post them everywhere. But um, this just works for me. This is what I like. So I've already got that on Mercari. So let's see. Let's find a couple more here. And you guys put your questions and comments down in the description. I am happy to, uh, or in the comments section happy to answer any questions that you might have. And again, 30% off that first month, try it for a month. And if you hate it, you can quit. But I'm going to tell you, I've been using it for over a year. And everybody always says it's a game changer. And I will tell you, it is a game changer for sure. And I'm trying to do like some extra ones here again, just to give you guys an idea of how long it takes to load. And you know, there's different, um, different people have different, uh, internets. So it may take yours longer or it may take yours less time than mine. That's another decent one that I'm surprised I didn't have cross posted yet. So I want to get my 20, 20 items over to Mercari. If you're not selling on Mercari, um, I've got a link down below uh, and it's a referral. Like, I don't know, you click on it and then you get credit and I get credit. I think you get a $30 credit. Okay. So I've got all my things marked and highlighted. So I'm going to click this button again and I'm going to send my items to Mercari and Poshmark. So this would be sending your items to list perfectly. If you wanted to add your items from eBay to the catalog, like if you're just starting list perfectly and you want your items in the catalog, this is how you do it. You click this and then, um, so you're basically cross posting it into the catalog. This is grailed eBay, Etsy, TradeZ, Kittison, Depop, Facebook and Shopify. I have starting started to dabble in Facebook, but I haven't sold anything yet. So I'm just going to take these items to Mercari and Poshmark and I'm going to hit copy. And then typically, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I would be going in and I would be um, sending offers to on eBay. I send offers on Mercari. I send offers on Poshmark. So these are going to load and I have 18 pulled up. 
Um, I wanted to do 20, but that's okay. We'll go with 18. And you can see it does take a minute. I'm trying to think of some other things that I want to tell you guys. Um, another good thing about List Perfectly is when you use the catalog or when you cross post your items, your items are now saved. Okay. I don't have any backup. So I don't know if you guys know a while back. I mean, it's probably been uh, maybe a couple years ago, eBay had a glitch where everybody lost all of their photos except the first one. And it wasn't like um, their whole store. It was just like certain items. For some reason, some of the photos were lost. Some people lost a ton. Some people lost a few. I, I didn't have very many. I'm going to say I had maybe 10, 15. It wasn't a substantial amount. I was very lucky. But some people had a mess on their hands. And, you know, they had to redo photos. So if that happened now on eBay, I would just delete that item. I would find it on Poshmark or Mercari and I would cross post it back to eBay or better yet, if it was in the list perfectly catalog, I could just, you know, list it from there. So again, the catalog definitely has its benefits. Um, another thing, um, if you're using the catalog, your item is, how do I explain this? I haven't used this function because I don't list in the catalog, but let's say your item sells on eBay. You can go into the catalog, find the item in the list perfectly catalog, and then it will pull up the tabs like it's doing now. And then you can mark the items as sold. But again, I haven't used this feature. It sounds like a really awesome feature, but getting 7,000 listings into list perfectly just seems way too overwhelming for me. But for somebody who has like 200 or 500 even, you know, definitely manageable, I I would definitely check out the catalog. So I, I recommend the catalog, but I don't use it. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we're on the 12th one. So, you know, it does take a minute to load, but you know, a lot of people will do three to five at a time. I'm just one of those people where I'm like, I want all my tabs pulled up and then I just want to sit there and I just want to cross post them as quick as possible. I want to get And if I load 18 and when I say I'm loading 18, I'm loading 18 to Mercari and Poshmark. So it would take half the time if I was only going to one platform. So um, we're getting close now. I think we're on 12. So. So it's going to pull up your pictures and I can kind of show you this one. And then eBay has a longer, um, more characters. So you do have to kind of tweak the title slightly. Mercari has tags, eBay doesn't. So there are things that you do have to play around with, but overall it's, um, it's good. So I can probably start this one. I don't usually start them until everything's, till all the rotation stops. I just want to make sure it doesn't kick something out. So we are close. Maybe I shouldn't have done 18. Sorry, guys. It always feels faster when I'm sitting there sending offers, but I'm not going to send offers while you guys are hanging out. And Mercari, awesome. Poshmark, awesome. I sell way more on eBay, but I do like those platforms. Grailed, you know, I've sold a few things. It's not, I'm not crazy about grailed, but some people do excellent there. Maybe I, I don't have very many items listed, so that could be part of the problem. And then um, Etsy, it's slow, but I only have, I think 180 items over there. So, but the items that I do sell on Etsy do pretty well. I think we're loaded here. So I can check by going back to eBay and this says copy. So that means everything is loaded. So let's go to the first item. And I'm just going to leave Fisher, um, Fisher Price, Loving Family. I didn't do very good on this one. Usually I try to think about the other platforms, but I didn't on this. Loving Family. Let's change this to FP. FP, Loving Family. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. Girl, doll. So we're going to put doll, FP, loving family. And I am like the worst at tags. Um, see dollhouse and play sets. Just do that. Accessories. Um, it's already got Fisher price there. It pulled that over. Um, I'm going to pay the shipping. Uh, that's another thing I can talk to you about. I always pay the shipping 
almost always pay the shipping on uh, Mercari and then I inflate the price. And that gives me room for price drops and offers. So now that item is now good and ready to go on Mercari. So I'm gonna go over to this one. Oops, let me delete that. And it's gonna take me on to the next tab. And this is Poshmark. And again, I did not do a good job on my title. That's my fault. I should have thought of that. Flower girl. I used somebody else's title. Um, doll. Okay. So the category, I'm going to go to kids, toys, dolls and accessories, girls, one size. No, it's not new with tags. Zero here. And I'm just going to put 25 because Poshmark takes 20%. That will allow me to look at offers and, um, to do price drops and send offers to buyers. Okay, the next one is this Fisher Price hammock, loving family hammock, that is fine. So that one I don't have to do anything to, which makes it a lot quicker. And you guys tell me about tags. Do you think tags are beneficial? I hate tags, I just don't like them. Um, so you can see here, I'm just putting that I will pay. And then I'm just gonna up the price because I'm paying the shipping and list. All right, there we have it. The next item is the hammock on Poshmark. So my title and description and photos are already there, good to go. I do have to do a few things. Another reason I like to start on eBay is there's so much more information that eBay requires you to put in compared to Mercari and Poshmark. So I'm like, I want to do number one, I want to start with eBay because I sell the most on eBay. And number two, I want to, um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness. Um, sorry guys, I'll come back to it when I think of it. I'm not a good multitasker. Okay, so I'm gonna do vintage, vintage mouse ornament. Oh my gosh, where was I going with that? I don't even know what I was saying now. Cause I'm trying to think of how to fill these things in. So I was saying that eBay I sell the most on. Oh, there's more um, item specifics and stuff on eBay. So it's much quicker to uh, get it on eBay first and then cross it to, um, I'm gonna do 30 on this cross it to uh, the other platforms that require less. So these are little vintage um, mice. And actually these, they're missing an ear. I don't know if it's supposed to be like hidden under the hat because they're both the same. I'm just gonna do 30 and I can do price drops. Um, I'm guessing that there's not a brand. Um, I don't, they look like they're made in Japan, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they had the made in Japan sticker. I'm sitting on the floor because I've been having issues when I sit on the couch with my internet. So I'm a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so here they are again on Poshmark and they're ready to go. I don't need to change the title really too much. This is going to go under home holiday ornaments. Uh, Mercari, I don't sell a lot of clothing on Mercari. Poshmark's more of a clothing um, uh, a clothing. It started out as clothing, but they have really, really started to branch out. You guys should definitely go check out some of my Poshmark what sold videos because I do videos where I don't show clothes because most of my people um, that watch my channel are looking for bolo items that are not clothing. So definitely go and check that out. I'm trying to see clone. I'm just going to change, take that word out and do that. But uh, I, I was a clothing reseller. That's all I sold. And um, I am so glad I got out of clothes. I'm telling you, this stuff is so much more fun. It sells faster than clothing. And um, I, I highly recommend if you're only selling clothes to um, try a few other things, you know, branch out. I mean, you don't have to. It's just Just because I love it, I guess, doesn't mean you will. Okay, select the model. I hate this part on Mercari. I always just scroll down and I put other. I'm not going to try and look for that. It's not worth it. They can search by the title. All right, so the next item 
is the same guy on Poshmark. And Poshmark has a few more characters than Mercari. For some reason, they don't have as many. And the description on eBay, it allows for more action figures play sets. Um, because my husband will list things and he is very, very wordy. And I have to go in and crop some of the description and put it in the comments on Poshmark because it doesn't accept as many. So that's, um, I don't like it when he lists stuff with a lot of words because it's a lot more work for me. All right, let's see. What do we have next? We have, okay, so these are kind of cool. I picked these up. Oh, gosh, I want to say... I think these might have been in a mystery box. So what they are, they're vintage plastic canvas um, little ornament things. I don't know if you make something out of them or what exactly they are, but somebody has put a lot of time into these. I am pricing them a little high. I'm not really sure. Sometimes stuff like this just does really well. It ends up being an, a, a bolo. So I'm going to price them at $50. and. Again, somebody that's looking for this is definitely going to pay that because they're not going to want to do the work. It is a lot of work. And then I'm going to pay the shipping. And we'll do 50 bucks, $50, and see what happens. I tried an auction on eBay and they didn't sell. So I'll show you guys. See, they're like little um, on canvas. I mean, that would take forever. There's 142 of them. So the next item, same thing on Posh. I'm going to put this one under home holiday. And let's do ornaments. And they are not new. There's no brand. And we'll just leave it at 50. I'm good with that. And as I'm listing, you can see I'm sharing to the parties. All right, the next item. Okay, so these serendipity books are a bolo. I have sold them before. They are hard to find, and they are a bolo. Um, they're in one of my uh, bolo videos, so definitely check that out. Check those videos out. You'll be surprised. This is one I didn't know about until I looked it up, and I was like, whoa. Amazing. Uh, I'm just going to put not sure. That's the thing. They, you know, with the brand, if it's not there, they're going to find it with the title. So, whoops, ship on your own. And I'll pay. These will go media mail. I'm going to put them at 150 and work my way down from there. And you guys are probably thinking, what? I'm telling you, they're a bolo. This is what they look like. You would never think it. The next one, we are on Poshmark. I'm going to go to kids, toys, and I'm just going to put learning toys because there's not really a um, book category. So I'm going to do 150. I'm going to price it high and drop the price as I get, or I get an offer or something like that. Okay, the next item is this adorable little felt mouse. Um, she's made in Japan. I love made in Japan items. If you are new to my channel, I do have a um, made in Japan bolo category video. Definitely go check that out. It's all made in Japan category items that sell for big money. And some of them, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by some of the stuff that you might be able to find at a garage sale. All right, I put 35 on this. And you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy, but look how cute it is. It's mid-century modern, I think. Uh, I saw another one and they used MCM. So I'm like, okay, I'll put MCM. Um, it's vintage and it's just adorable. The next item, same thing over on Poshmark. So, you know, if you choose to only do one platform, like I could just do all Mercari right now, you know, but I'm like, if I'm doing one, I might as well do the other, just get it done. And when I'm done here, I'm going to have um, 18 items on Mercari. All right, here's some more little bendy mice. I got all these mice at a garage sale in a Ziploc bag. 
and I parted them out based on um, what they look like. And I'm going to put Japan here on this one. Uh, let's do mice and ornament. Get rid of the three, I guess. I'm trying to think of what like the most important words are. But what's nice about um, Mercari and Poshmark is when you search, they search the description also. On eBay, you have to ask it to search the description. Otherwise, it just searches the title. It's going to do 30. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to put the brand. All right. Moving on. So you guys put in the comments any questions you have. I will definitely look at it. If I don't have an answer for you, I will try to find an answer for you. Um, I have been using this for over a year, but I do it my way. So I don't have all the answers for everything, but I will say that I love it. And it's one of the best things I've done for my business. And I may have said that already, but it's honestly... It's the truth. I mean, I manually cross posted 3000 items to Poshmark from eBay. <laughs> and I can't remember how many I did from Mercari. I don't think it was the full 3000, but it was a lot. It was before List Perfectly came around. And I look back now and I'm, I mean, it took me, oh gosh, it was, it was awful. <laughs> it was awesome. Awful, awful, awful. But, um, you know, I felt like it was something that I wanted to do and I didn't have any other option. So it, it's definitely, um, it's definitely worth the money. So I can tell you that for sure. Uh, Terrasaur, I don't know what this is. I did um, Google Lens. I don't think I spelled that right. S, um, maybe I did. So I use Google Lens. So if I don't know what the toy is, I will um, search it with that. Does it, do I have a brand? I don't see a brand. So I'm not sure of the brand. So I'm just going to put not sure. Um, but if you take a picture and you do Google Lens, I would say seven out of 10 times you find your item. It's not like 100% consistent, but it's pretty good. Um, so that's how I find what some of the items are. You can also do that with eBay. You can take a picture of the item and try to find it. But I feel like Google Lens is a little more accurate. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, Primetime Treasure Hunter has a video on how Google Lens works. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a really good video. So definitely go and check out Primetime Treasure Hunter. His, that's his YouTube channel. I think I have it linked down in the description. Um, I'm wondering how many mistakes I'm making because I'm talking. But that's down in the description of the video. I have him linked. It's one of my favorite channels. And he's also been like a great support to me and a mentor. So um He's, he's a great person. So let's see. FP, we're going to do loving family. Here we go with the tags. Not a fan. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not doing tags. And then I always do them. But uh, let's see. Let's change this. We'll just put presents in the title. All house family furniture. I like listing toys, you guys. A lot of them are bread and butter. But I just... You know, it's one of those things that I enjoy doing. I know that they don't bring in a lot of money. And a lot of times people are like, why do you waste your time doing that? And I'm like, I just, I like it. It's easy. I can take a few pictures. There's not much of a description. I just think it's fun. So um, to each their own, you guys list what you enjoy listing. Then it doesn't feel like work. You know, it's fun. All right. Toys, dolls, and accessories. One size. I'm going to put 11 because I'll probably do price drops and offer um, discounted shipping. So if you guys don't know about Poshmark, I, I do have some tutorial videos. Okay, so this one is really cool. These are like wise men candlestick holders. They're really cool. Candle... And I did not cross post them yet. And I've had them listed for, on eBay for a while. And I do have them priced pretty high because I think they're 
pretty collectible, but they just haven't gotten the right buyer to come along yet. So I think it'll be good for me to get them on uh, Poshmark and uh, Mercari, especially right now, you know. Again, I'm sitting on the floor, so sorry, I have to move around. I think they're Kurt Adler, yeah. And these are made in Japan also. I love selling made in Japan items. It's one of my favorite things to sell. You guys will hear me say that in my other videos. They're, it's always just such unique, cool stuff. Like, look how cool these guys are. Yeah, so you're not getting a real accurate um, display of how quickly you can cross post because I'm kind of getting sidetracked. But that's okay. You get the point. Sometimes I watch TV while I do it and, you know, I get a little sidetracked. But, you know, it doesn't feel like work if you're just sitting there, you know, watching TV or listening to YouTube. Especially if I'm listening to YouTube. I do that a lot when I cross post. Um, I go into uh, Donatella Botolino and auctions for you. I go to their auctions and I listen in the background. And... Um, if I hear something that I think I might want to buy, then I go in and check it out. But uh, they have uh, really great auctions for resellers. If you're looking for inventory, definitely check them out. I also have them linked down in the description of the video. Um, so you can check them out. They're good stuff. I've bought and stuff from them and I have definitely made money on the stuff I've bought. You can actually, um, I have some unboxing videos from auctions. Um, that I bought from them. And, and then I mentioned them in my what sold videos. Like if I sell something that I uh, got from a YouTube auction, I always mention it. Okay. This one, gosh, you know, I'm going to put this under, cause it's not really kids. I mean, I guess it could be like a teenager. I'm going to pick um, office and I'm going to do arts and crafts just because it's a coloring book. And I do believe I have two of those. It's one size done, so you can just go in and put two available. So if you don't know how to do that, now you do. These are new. They are not boutique. Um, I'm going to put 14 on them. And I have sticker books, kids sticker books um, that I listed. And I did pay up. They were retail arbitrage, but they've been selling like really, really good. I was really surprised. They're like the thick coloring activity sticker books. So those have done really well for me. Okay, so this is Texas Hold'em for Dummies cards. Okay, so cards and Texas. See, like what? Is anybody good at tags? Give me some tips. Texas, we'll just put teaching. I don't know. Education and teaching books, or would this be card games? I guess card games. Um, that is new. And, you know, this is a major bread and butter item. I'm just going to put 14 on it because I'm going to do free shipping. And if somebody makes me an offer, uh, let's see. I'm just going to don't know the brand. And I probably should look things up like that, but I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. All right. 48 page guide. All right. We're just going to, we're going to do games, kids. Puzzles and games on this one. It's one side. Oops, wait. We don't want it under baby. It is not for babies. We're going to put boys on this one. I always, I usually pick girls because I feel like I have more um, girl games. Not games, more girl items. So whenever I can put boy, I try to. If it's like a unisex thing, I'll pick boy just so if people are searching the categories, it might get somebody to look at something different. I don't know. All right, these are Homco figurines, Autumn Harvest. And I'm gonna put bears first. Bears, and then we'll put thanks giving. And I forgot the S. And I will say that when you first start, you know, there there may be may take you a little longer, especially if you're going from um, no, that's not right. If you're going from posh to eBay because there's going to be more stuff to fill out on eBay. And again, check out the video if you want to see Poshmark to eBay or Mercari to eBay. I have a video on that. Like if your primary place is one of those platforms. These are super cute. 
I mean, I don't, they're just bread and butter, but they're still cute. I'm going to put that under holiday decor because they're Thanksgiving. And again, this is going to be a longer video. I, I probably shouldn't be doing all of these. I guess I could call it um, and just stop, but I kind of wanted, let me see how many minutes I'm at. We're at 35 minutes. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop and I can do the rest on my own because I feel like I'm just starting to ramble and it does take me longer when I'm doing a video. Pull this down a little bit. So yeah, put your comments down in the description. <sighs> description, I've done that twice. Put your comments down in the comment section if you have questions and um, questions, comments, concerns. Um, again, I do the bulk cross posting like I'm showing you so I can get all my tabs pulled up and just kind of work my way through them. Um, $49 is what I pay. Uh, there's the simple plan, the, um, simple business and pro with the business, you get more things that come over like the item specifics and stuff like that. The pro you get even more. So, um, uh, think about, you know, where you're at with, uh, financially, like how much you want to pay per month, uh, with the simple plan you can do, let's say you start your item on eBay. You can click that green dot and it will take it to Mercari, Poshmark. It can take, you can take one item to all the platforms with the simple plan. What you can't do is click like five items and take it over to all the things. Does that make sense? So that's why I like the $49 plan because I really love bulk cross posting, as you can see. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to try list perfectly, you can use Bolo Buddies coupon code. Um, it's a referral coupon code, Bolo Buddies, one word. <laughs> And uh, you just put that in and you'll get 30% off your first month. And like I said, if you hate it, you can quit. But I have had so many people message me and say, thank you so much for telling me about this because I'm telling you, it's it just changes, it just changes everything. <laughs> I mean, you can get things done so much quicker. You're making more money because you're getting different eyes on your items. It's definitely beneficial. But, you know, it is it costs money, you know, it's a monthly subscription, but keep your receipts because you can write it off because it is a business expense. Okay. So give it to your accountant. All right. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my Bolo videos. There should be videos getting ready to pop up at any time. If they haven't already popped up, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.